One, two, three. I don't think this... Is this thing on? I don't think this thing is on. Can anyone hear me? Good, you can hear me. Hi, everyone. I'm Christy Smithers, an assistant here at the Institute. We're just about ready for you next door. But before we go in to see today's presentation, here's a message from my boss, the head of the Imagination Institute. Hello. Dr. Nigel Channing here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our annual open house. It is my pleasure to have you here, just as it is your pleasure to be here. For over a hundred years, the Imagination Institute has honored the world's leading thinkers, dreamers, and innovators with the Inventor of the Year Award. This year's recipient, Professor Wayne Zielinski, holds patents on numerous unique one-of-a-kind inventions, including the hands-free phone helmet, the hands-free personal grooming helmet, and his newest creation, the video camera helmet, which, if I'm not mistaken, is also hands-free. But what brought Professor Zelinsky to our attention was not headwear, but his incredible shrinking and enlarging machine. Although he's had some small setbacks, he has demonstrated a truly enormous gift for imaginativeness. Today, before receiving his award, the good professor will demonstrate for us his latest inventions, all developed right here at the Institute. Before we begin, I have one special reminder. Do remember, safety goggles must be worn during the presentation. But please, for your safety, do not put on the safety goggles until you are safely seated, safely inside the theatre, safely. Uh, yes, right. Now, please gather up your personal belongings and move all the way into the auditorium. See you in a few moments. Welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, the exploration of deep space. I know you're probably feeling a little bit nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another, even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing that they have that you don't have. Train. Right now, at NASA and ISTC facilities around the world, future astronauts are learning how to live and work in space. But you're here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft. The X-2 Deep Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words, go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang up. Now you've already been organized into teams, and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. And the success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your captain, and in a few minutes I'll give all of you specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your green team less intense training mission, you will be enclosed inside an X-2 flight trainer that produces the sensation of a flight through space. Those who are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. It is intense. And if you would like to opt out, you can sign up for mission control training in the advanced training lab. Just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. May I have your attention, please? At this time, I'd like to take a moment to review our boarding process. When the automatic doors have opened, please proceed directly across the ramp into the cabin. Continue to move all the way across your aisles, filling in every available seat. For your safety, all passengers are required to wear safety restraints throughout the flight. To fasten the restraint, pull the strap out from the right side of the seat and snap it into the console on your left. 
Galactic regulations require that all carry-on items be safely stowed beneath your seat. While on board, flash photography is not permitted. And please, no smoking at any time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask an attendant. You'll be boarding in just a few moments. Thank you, and have a pleasant tour. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Star Tours. In just a few minutes, you'll be boarding your Star Speeder 3000 to the forest moon of Endor. Once the doors in front of you open, please move all the way down the cabin, filling in all available seats. Once seated, pull the safety restraints from right to left until securely fastened. If you have any carry-on baggage with you, please throw that underneath your seat. Except for cameras, we suggest you have those tightly on your lap. Because we do sometimes experience turbulence in space, we ask there be no photography or video recording during your flight. Thank you for choosing Star Tours, your leader in intergalactic travel. announces the boarding of the Endor Express, non-stop star speeder service to the moon of Endor. All passengers, please prepare for immediate boarding. Thanks. Hi everybody, welcome to the test track. My name is Bill McKim, I'm up here in the control center, in just a couple of minutes you're going to be out there on that track. But first let's uh, put together your test schedule. These are the same kinds of tests that are run at uh, GM test facilities all over the world. Let's put up the uh, 26A grade. You got it. Okay, we're going to start you off on an accelerated hill climb. Now, these steep grades give us a chance to evaluate the effects of heat and stress on your engine and on the transmission. Twist ditch or blocks? Let's put up the blocks, uh, German and Belgian. Next, your vehicle is going to go over a variety of rough road surfaces. These are designed to test the integrity of the uh, suspension and the chassis. It's going to get a bit bumpy. Yeah. <laughs> Next, you're going to see and feel what it's like when your brakes lock up. This time with the ABS or the anti-lock brakes. Okay. Alright, what's next? Let's do some environmental tests. Uh, put up two, five, and seven. Seven? Yeah, seven. Okay. After that, we're going to subject your vehicle to some extremes in temperature, as well as corrosive conditions, to see how it handles nature's worst. And finally, we'll take you out for some handling runs. Let's do the corner. Uh, I'm going to send you Depending on how your vehicle and you hold up, uh, we'll even throw a few surprise tests in there. Surprise test? Yeah. Pick one. Now, if this whole routine seems a bit extreme, you're absolutely right. That's what a test track is all about. The uh, cars you drive at home are made up of over 15,000 different parts, and every one of them has to pass the test under very extreme conditions before we ever let it off that test track and out onto the road. Now, as you can imagine, safety is a big concern of ours, so we're going to insist that you uh, buckle up your safety belt securely. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> oh, we're ready. Oh, great. Well, Sherry says we're ready, so we'll see you out there on the test track. Good luck. And welcome to SOAR. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Next, fasten your seat belts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. That's worked out. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have the fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on items, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Yeah, have a nice one. Yeah. Yo, Rick! Uh, 
Eugene, where did I sack on? Where did I sack on? We need you, okay? Into the, into the theater. Orchestra rehearsal, Eugene. Okay, Elmer, come on now. Come on, inside, you can. Okay, all both you guys in. Come on, guys, I need you there. Hey, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. You're not a penguin, you're a chicken. I told you chickens to stay on the other side of the road. Okay, why did this chicken cross the road? Ah, that's funny. Hey, penguins, I got a joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention, please? Um, excuse me, uh, um... Quiet! Well, you, you gotta project from the diaphragm. Thank you, so. You're uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you could step as far forward and close together as you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. get real close. You see, we're doing research on deodorant strength. <laughs> Rizzo, you're disgusting. It's a gift. <laughs> Well, we're ready to start Muppet Vision 3D. And if you'll... Uh, scooter, 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 excuse me, but uh, what's time? Oh, he, he's inside getting ready. Oh, oh, great, great. I've got a whole new act for the 3D movie. Just wait here, I'll get him. Okay, get ready, girls. Scooter, I'd like to present the 3Ds. Hi, I'm Dorothy. I'm Dinah. I'm Max. Yeah, Debbie was sick, so uh, the union sent me. Debbie was sick. So do you. One, two, three, by the light. By the light, by the light. Mount the sun, the people. Mount the sun, but the moon. No, 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 come on. Get, no, 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 no. Fuzzy, yeah, okay. get him out of here. Okay, okay, come on, girls, I'm sorry. I, it's okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think, uh, maybe, maybe another time. Another time. Come on, man. Hey, come, hey, on, get the come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, brother. Now, folks, if you... Uh-oh. Bean, where, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to help Miss Piggy with her musical number. <laughs> but, but, Bean, do you know nobody interrupts Miss Piggy while she's in rehearsal? I warned you. Oh, oh, oh. Scooter. Oh, nice outfit. Scooter, Scooter, there's a telephone call for you. It's urgent. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I got him. We don't have a telephone. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, well, audience, a display of tremendous tap dancing talent with the added cultural component of a pot of flowers balanced on my head. Hit it, Rusty. Yes, I was going to tell you about the three D. Hello, Scooter. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Where, where are you going with that? Oh, I thought Miss Piggy might need a prop for her number. <laughs> bing, can't you see that Piggy doesn't want any help? Oh, I'm sure she'll like this. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about these interruptions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're just about ready to start the movie, so if you listen carefully, you can hear the orchestra tuning up. And... 
hey, what, no, no, wait a second. Hey, you penguins can't go in there. You'll interrupt the orchestra. Stutter? Stutter? These penguins are the orchestra. Come on, Eugene. Come on, Estelle. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, before we go in, here's Sam Eagle with some important safety instructions. and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Sam Eagle, and these are some important safety instructions Sam, for you. Sam, Sam. Not now, God. Sam, this is urgent. Come here. What? What is that? Mm -hmm. What? Yes! Really? Here? Right over there. Well, of course, certainly. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, we have an unexpected surprise. I have the great honor of introducing the one, the only, Mr. Mickey Mouse. Hello, hi there, welcome to my park. How you doing? Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? You are not Mickey Mouse, you are a rat. Rich, Matt. Besides, they're tourists. What do they know? You get out of here! Okay, but do I still get my ten bucks? Get out, get out, get out! Right. I got Donald Duck back here. Will you get out? Yes! <sighs> I apologize. <sighs> now, where was I? Yes, safety instructions. First, when entering the theater, please move as far to the end of the row as possible. Stopping in the middle is distinctly unpatriotic. Second, do not attempt to walk. While wearing your 3D glasses, you may trip, and frankly, you will look... I'm just showing how you can trip if you walk with your glasses on. Will you stop this foolishness? What foolishness would you like to see? Will you get out of here? Yes. <sighs> Excuse me, Sam. What now? Yeah, we're, we're almost ready, Sam. Oh, we'll fine, 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 fine. Okay, thank you, Sam. <clears throat> uh, now, the performers will all go in the theater first, and then you, the audience, will be admitted. All right, performers, let us enter in an orderly fashion and provide an example. Yeah! Somebody, please take over. 